To modify the fields used in your pivot table, you first need to display the pivot table field list. Click any of the pivot table's cells, and Excel adds the pivot table tools contextual tab with the Analyze and Design tabs to the ribbon. Click the Analyze tab under the Pivot Table Tools Contextual tab to display its buttons on the ribbon. Next, click the Field List button in the Show group. The Pivot Table Fields task pane appears and you can now make modifications. To remove a field, drag its field name out of any of its drop zones, and when the mouse pointer or touch pointer changes to an X, release the mouse button or click its checkbox in the Choose Fields to Add to Report list to remove its checkmark. To move an existing field to a new place in the table, drag its field name from its current drop zone to a new zone at the bottom of the task pane. To add a field to the table, drag its field name from the Choose Fields to Add to Report list and drop the field in the desired drop zone. If all you want to do is add a field to the pivot table as an additional row field, you can do this by clicking the Fields checkbox in the Choose Fields to Add to Report list to add a checkmark. As Pivot implies, the fun of pivot tables is being able to restructure the table simply by rotating the column and row fields. For example, suppose that after making the Department field the column field and the Location field the row field, you now decide, I want to see what the table looks like with the Location field as the column field and the Department field as the row field. No problem at all. In the Pivot Table Field List task pane, just drag the Department Field label from the Columns drop zone to the Rows drop zone and the Location field from the Rows drop zone to the Columns drop zone. Excel rearranges the totaled salaries so that the rows of the Pivot Table show the Departmental grand totals and the Columns now show the Location grand totals. By default, Excel uses the good old SUM function to create the subtotals and grand totals for the numeric fields that you assign as the data items in the pivot table. Some pivot tables, however, require the use of another summary function, such as average or count. To change the summary function that Excel uses, simply click the sum of field label that's located at the cell intersection of the first column field and row field in a pivot table. Next, Click the Field Settings Command button on the Analyze tab to open the Value Field Settings dialog box for that field. After you open the Field Value Settings dialog box, you can change a field summary function from the default sum to any of these functions by selecting it in the Summarize Value Field by list box. After you select the new summary function to use, click OK to have Excel apply the new function to the data present in the body of the pivot table.